Hey, what's up, guys? Brad here. So today, we have Sarah final lookable in Duel Links. We got this um, cutscene which we saw last time, I believe. I think this was the same cutscene as the end of the previous uh, Planner event. But uh, we are now getting introduced to Sarah, who was one of the playtesters for Kaiba's um, Duel Link Solid Vision system back in the manga. Now. I think from what I've heard of Sarah that we haven't really been given too much good stuff. We have like one or two really cool skills, but beyond that, not much in terms of cubic support, which is kind of annoying. But uh, let's see. Obviously now we're talking about uh, different dimensions and searching for the Pharaoh for a Tem. Let's have a look. Let's see. Okay. Now the Unknown Duels is back again. It's... Uh, Makes sense. Transcend on a doors is a pain in dual world DSD. Okay. Go to area appearance. Sure, why not? And let's see what this is all about. So we have we have Doozer here. Okay. Whoa, okay. Uh Transcend on a doors will begin the skill with this. We'll let us summon Doozer at the beginning of a duel. And then pulse discharge can be used when your life points are at 3,000 or below to strike back at your opponent. Cool. So level 20. Now do we have the skill we'd have to go and actually get it from uh, from here so let's have a look no doesn't seem like we can get the skill from here that's fine let's see so level 20 Constella Warrior going in with the uh, the farm deck even though we don't really need to I think we just need to beat uh, the unknown duelist but let's see see what we need to do to get uh this is pretty cool this uh this stage is really really cool which, which is weird because Doozer doesn't have a summoning animation, which I don't really appreciate them, you know, giving us this really cool CGI in the background, but no animation. So we, of course, opened up really nicely, and we do get C animation as well, but it's the older one, so we're just going to kind of uh, skip that. And we're going to set Clash and just see what the Unknown Doors can do. But it's level 20, so yeah, I, I doubt anything is going to really... Pose a threat union attack, so we can farm her if we want to, but we don't need to. Honestly, we can just ordeal at this point. We can just uh, see how easy it's going to be. Summoning out a bunch of Constella cars, which I think we're getting a few of them via this uh, Sarah unlock, so we'll have to take a look at that. Whoa. They actually gave Dooza its own, like, noise. It's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Next, next, next. 2,000 guaranteed score for being level 20. That's pretty good. Now, I think we do have like a dual meter that we can use to actually like spawn the unknown doors again and again and again. And the mission circuit's on. So um, here we go. We're going to be farming these points. Get our oh, 15 gems already. It's pretty good. But uh, let's see. Another cutscene. So do Kaiba, I can't like to fulfill your plan. We, not you, will be the ones to create a perfect world. We are the plan of the ones who travel between dimensions. Okay. Turning into Sarah. Come with me to a new world. Okay. The do the timeline for this thing is obviously clearly matching up with the movie. But that was really out of place. Um But I think we get a glossy copy of Dooza. Which is uh, not bad. But again, our doors has been dual world. We have this end power meter as well. Um, that does something, I guess. Let's have a look. Let's unlock Sarah, sure. Transcendent Unknown Duelist. Okay, there's forbidden cards that you can use. Oh, wow, okay. That's not fun. Um, the appearance of a rainbow pack will increase. Uh, and you could gain neural power. Sure. That's going to be, um... 12% for victory. If you can combine that times three. Yeah, okay. So you might you might be able to farm this. Let's see. Anything else needs to do in here? We don't just unlock Sarah. Okay, good. So let's go in. Just wait, and take a look at Sarah's, uh... Okay. Let's, a new world together. let's not. Uh, so her starting deck... Is going to be probably do's and a bunch of vanillas. 
It is, okay, so a bunch of absolute garbage. That's fine. Then we have, where is her? Okay. Let's go through the cards first of all. We have Constella Rasselhaug. You can tribute this card to special one Constella monster from your hand or grave it in face of defense mode except itself. It's pretty good. No tribute to get out one of the uh, level fives, level sixes. That's uh, not bad. We have Antares. When it's normal special, target can in your graveyard and add it to your hand to get back the one you distributed. It's pretty good as well. Like, I don't think we're going to be getting any of the really, really good Constellas because most of them are Xyz based, so understandable. Constella Sheraton, when it's called Normal Summon, you can add a Constella from hand from your deck to hand, so Normal Summon this guy is not really great because you only got 700 town points, but if you can make it work, then sure. Then Rasahalg again, then we have Sheraton and Antares, and I'm guessing we're going to repeat that, yep. Until we get to Guardian of Order, anything else actually, no. Just multiple copies of Guardian of Order, a card that came out back in, I want to say Light Destruction, or no, Strike of, Strike of Neos, I think it was, back in the TCG, so a very long time ago. If you control two or more light monsters, you can special this card from your hand. Ooh. That's... Not bad. I feel like this card might have seen a little bit of play in the TCG back in the day, like way back in the day. But I'm not sure what deck really used this. Maybe Lightsworn? Maybe Lightsworn used this, which might be a good kind of use case for this card, but... It's okay, it's not amazing. And of course we have her skills and we're going to get some... Uh, Wave and Light, okay, Wave and Light and start off skill 4, that's pretty good. And then we get a Life Charge, Gr great. Uh, afterlife Lockdown. And is that all? That is all. So let's have a look at her good skills, her skills are very exclusive to her. So Wave and Light, when all monsters you control have an attack equal to their defense, gain 300 attack points at the end of the turn. This one, I think, is going to be a very, very cheesy skill. And it's once per turn, not necessarily once per duel, which is it's kind of like a beatdown for very specific monsters which might mean that some decks become very very tilting so I'm looking forward to playing around with the skill see if we get anything good out of it um, nothing else too new here we have 8800 pulse this is uh, going to be the uh, the main cubic skill for the moment can only be used if you control exactly one level four monster and attack equal to its defense points your monster attack points become 8800 by return to its original value at the end of the turn for the rest of this turn after using this skill your opponent takes no damage. Once per dual skill, that's that's a tough one to recommend because sure, it's gonna let you beat over your opponent's monsters, your big monsters, for one turn. But also, you can't do any damage with other monsters, which is uh, really really annoying. I'm not sure what deck's gonna run this. I have a feeling that some YouTubers are gonna bring out some really tilting combos, and uh, that'll be fun to see. But beyond that. Not one of her best skills, I think we really needed the uh, the whole um, V-Jam skill for her to be a very good character, but I guess it's gonna be a, that's going to be one they'll give us on her next go-around. So, uh, have a look for that one, but Afterlife Lockdown is the last unique skill. This one is, until the end of the turn, the cubic you control destroys an opponent's monster in battle, shuffle it into the owner's deck instead of sending it to the graveyard. Once per dual skill. I don't think that one was leaked. I feel like that one's a new one. Because I don't remember seeing that one. That's okay. It's it's a very specific. It's a it's a skill that we aren't going to use right now because we don't have any cubics apart from one of them. So there's no real point in using it. But beyond that, it's not bad. It's not terrible. It's just kind of okay. So that's kind of my feeling on Sarah right now is that she's kind of an okay character. Nothing amazing. Hopefully. When DSD World does get updated to give us 35, 40, those kind of levels, if it ever does get there, she might be a character to watch out for because Constellas can be a good deck with the right support. They just don't seem to have it right now. And Cubics, of course, when we get Aigami, should get a bit better. And maybe this skill will see play. Maybe the 800 Pulse skill will see play as well. Who knows? Anyway, that is my kind of uh, first impressions review of Sarah. Not the most interesting character in the world. But cool, we have her in the game finally, and I would have liked to have the honor doors as well, but I guess you can't have everything. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one's video. See you then.